Hey, super awesome stampers. This is super awesome stamper Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I would like to share these cards that I created. Uh, it was a special design for a wedding that's happening this weekend. So let's get started. I first processed the Blackberry Bliss using the Elegant Dots uh, embossing folder through the Big Shot. You got that nice little detail there. The next layer is vellum. So it's cut to four by five inches. And what I want to show you today is that our vellum and any vellum is not porous. So our classic ink acts as a Versamark. So let's stamp this in Blackberry Bliss on our vellum. Straight up and down, no rocking, firm and committed pressure. Pull straight up. And since the vellum is not porous, it's still wet. So I'm going to pull in my makeshift embossing powder catch. And this is just clear embossing powder. And I actually just like to use scratch paper for my embossing powder catch because then I can just dump the excess powder back into the little tub and I can throw that scratch paper away. So we're going to tap the excess off there and pull that away. And the next thing to do is to heat emboss. I'm going to turn the heat, the heat gun on. Gonna let it heat up a few seconds off, off the paper. I'm gonna pull it in. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the screen, but when the embossing powder melts, it'll change color. And then you just move your heat gun along until it all has changed color. turned a little bit so maybe you can see it a little better. Again, I just used the classic ink, not a Versamark pad. And that's it. I get this nice raised image. Alright, the other tips and tricks I have for you tonight would be a metallic foil doily. I use the small one. And just cut that in four. Do not use your glue dots to adhere this. Use a little bit of snail or your fast fuse. And I would recommend the fast fuse so you get a little better grip. Put that in the upper corner. Upper corner there. All right, and then a trip tip to adhering vellum is that you do not want to put um, fast fuse or snail over the whole thing. You need to hide it in inconspicuous places. So the way I'm going to hide some glue dots actually would be to hide up underneath some rhinestones. If I can pick it up, there we go. Self-adhesive rhinestones. Oh, and that one must have come off without a glue dot on it. All right. So what I'm going to do is flip it over, and where I put those rhinestones is where I'm going to put a glue dot. All right there. And I'm also going to put a glue dot behind the corner where the foil will cover it up. And then um, I should have adhered this first. Here's my little strip of one inch by just a skosh less, less of four inches. That is going to go right here. So I know I can put some glue dots behind here. And the reason why I'm using glue dots and not 
snail behind the black rebus bliss strip is because after I ran the front through the big shot and made that impression, I don't have that full surface area anymore to adhere um, adhesive to. And using glue dots will make sure that this vellum piece will stay attached to the front of the card. So I'm not going to finish off assembling because this is getting to be a long video. But here's the finished card. And we're not going to mention the fact that on the original card I used two retired pro products. This was a flourish frame we had um, a few seasons ago. Happy I Do Day actually came from Wordplay and that is retired too. But guess what? Your wedding guests or your wedding uh, bride and groom are never going to know we use retired products. So thanks for watching. This is super awesome. Stamper Shirley. Bye.